Hello. This issue teaches you how to make a generator. First, we take out a worn out rotor like this. Let's take a look at it. After you've seen it, take out two round magnets like this, and then take out two gaskets and a threaded rod with a nut. Pass the gasket through it first. Here, we take out hot melt glue and apply it on both sides of the gasket on both sides of the rotor. Put the magnet on it and fix it. The other side is the same operation. Apply hot melt glue twice and fix the magnet on it. After it's fixed, pass the threaded rod through the middle of the magnet, cover it with the gasket, tighten the nut, and use the adjustable wrench to fix it firmly. After installation, it looks like this. Let's take a look. It's very simple and very hard. Prepare a metal plate like this. Take out the hot melt glue and put hot melt glue on the bottom washer of the rotor twice. Fix it in the first rotation position of the metal plate. Fix it. Then take out the motor we removed from the electric fan. Put a magnet like this on the rotating rod of this motor. Let's take a look. Put Rylon glue on the bottom of the diamond ring and fix it. Watch the video and put it in the right position. Don't put it wrong. Then take out a 20 volt capacitor between 400 volts and 500 volts like this. Connect the yellow wire of this capacitor to the wire on the lower right side of the motor. Connect the other wire to the upper left corner of the left side of the motor. We have connected it, aligned it, and then applied glue to fix it on the rotor. Fix it well. Then take out such a socket strip. There are two wires in the socket strip. Connect the red wire to the blue wire on the rotor, connect the blue wire on the right, and connect the black wire to the last wire. Then take out our tape and wrap it at each connection of the wire ends. After all the wire ends are wrapped, take out hot melt glue and apply hot melt glue on the bottom. Install the socket strip at the position below the socket strip. Pick up our plug and try it in each socket strip hole to see if it can be inserted and there are no problems. Then take out this bundle of hemp rope, a small hemp rope, wrap it all around the threaded rod behind this electrical connection, cut it off, and check it. If you pull the lower line hard, the magnet will repel each other with the magnet on the electric coil and reach the electricity. You can see that its rotation speed is very fast. Let's take out the multimeter to check whether there is electricity and put it into the socket. You can see that it has a voltage of more than 200 volts. Take out our light bulb and plug it into the socket. You can see that it can be lit up. It uses the hemp rope to pull the threaded rod on the rear side of the rotor to drive the rotor. The magnet on the rotor repels the magnet on the electric coil and repels each other. After the capacitor 12 volts is converted into 220 volts, the electricity brought. If you like it, you can give me a free follow and free like. Thank you everyone. I will continue to give you tutorials on more interesting generators in the next issue.